Minecraft 1.17 brought us many new things. Amongst those things were three new mobs. So today I'll be talking about these mobs, the axolotl, the goat, the glow squid, as well as a mob that is coming out a bit later this year, which is the new warden. But before we start, please check if you're subscribed. Only 2% of my viewers are actually subscribed. So it would be really cool if you subscribed. With that being said, let's hop into it. So the first mob that I want to talk about is the axolotl. This is the first ever amphibian to be added to Minecraft. If you don't know what an amphibian is, it's basically animals like frogs, toads, salamanders, etc. Now something very interesting and quite sad really about the axolotls is that in real life they are endangered. So I think that the axolotls were added to Minecraft to spread more awareness about the fact that they're going extinct. Very similar to the bees for example, which were added to spread awareness that bees aren't actually bad and that they should be kept safe and not go extinct. So now that you know a bit about the background of the axolotl, let's talk about what it actually does in the game. First thing that you need to note is that it needs to stay in water. While they can survive out of water for a bit, after five minutes they start suffocating, so you want to get them in water, assuming you want them alive, which you obviously do. Now one way you can get them to water is by putting them into a bucket, very similar to how you could put a fish in a bucket. And by the way, this texture of the axolotl in a bucket is extremely cute in my opinion. Now there are five different variants of the axolotl. There's this like creamy pink one, a yellow one, a brown one, a white one, and a blue one. Now if you've already played the update, you probably know that it is very rare to get the blue one. And that's because it's a 1 in 1200 chance they will spawn. So if you found one, consider yourself lucky. And I think this is really cool because now you can kind of play Pokemon in Minecraft. And the blue one is like the legendary Pokemon. Now when the axolotl goes into combat with other mobs, if it gets hit or takes any sort of damage, it actually pretends that it's dead and it uses the time that they're not in combat to regenerate, which is obviously a very good tactic since the mob isn't going to attack them anymore and they have time to regenerate. And this makes them absolute machines, especially if they're in a massive group, whatever mob they're fighting is 100% gonna lose, which is really cool because they actually move around in groups. If a bunch of them spawn together, they tend to stick in a group. Now you might have seen some clear of people actually using these axolotls to fight for them and while you can't tame them per se they're very similar to dolphins in that they can help you and they can be your friend but they're not technically your pet but the way that you get them to fight for you is by holding a tropical fish in your off hand or your main hand whatever and the axolotls kind of follow you because they think it's beneficial to them to follow you because you might feed them or something and something cool that you should probably know is that now that you're with them if you kill whatever mob they're trying to kill for them, they actually give you regen as well as getting rid of any mining fatigue that you may have, which is obviously very useful if you're trying to go into ocean monuments. I mean, think about it. They can swim in water, which is obviously very good when you're raiding an ocean monument, and they get rid of mining fatigue, which you get when you're in one. So clearly Mojang wants you to use them in an ocean monument, so yeah, have fun with that. So now I want to talk about a different mob, and that is the goat. The goat spawns in mountains, and that's obviously where you would find regular regular goats in real life, and I think when 1.18 comes out with the new mountain generation, the goats will look even cooler as there will be an ant on a massive mountain. And because Minecraft is going to add the new massive mountains, Mojang decided to make the goats be able to jump 10 blocks high, which if you think about it, is actually insane. Like now, they can basically jump over 10 block high jumps, which was obviously added so the goats have more help getting up the mountains and down the mountains and everything like that. And speaking of going down the mountains, the goats also have reduced full damage so that obviously if they miss a jump or decide to jump down a mountain they don't just instantly die. The goats can also be milked a bit like cows so if you want a new type of milk farm you should probably know how to breed them and it's very simple you literally just give them wheat which is exactly the same as with cows and yeah you literally just get two goats give them both wheat and they make a baby. Another cool thing about the goats is that they actually avoid the new powdered snow as they obviously don't want to get trapped in it which now that I think about it would actually be quite fun Funny, especially as I know that the powdered snow will definitely be a new thing that people will use for traps and stuff. So yeah, to get around the powdered snow, they tend to just jump around it or just not go into it mindlessly like a bunch of other mobs. Also something that you probably should know is that sometimes completely randomly they become screaming goats. And because it's completely random, it will surprise you because, I mean, this is what it looks like. It literally sprints at you and knocks you off a mountain, which I could already see some extremely funny clips coming around from it. But yeah, it really is quite scary just because it's random 
and it kind of makes you paranoid whenever you're near them because you know that at any moment the goat might just decide that he wants to hit you off a cliff. The next mob that I want to talk about is the glow squid and honestly it's not really interesting. I mean I think it's cool that I was voted into the game back in last year when Minecon happened and let's be honest the only reason why it won is because Dream told everyone to vote for it but let's not get into that drama. Really there's nothing special about this kind of squid. I mean it is literally a normal squid with the same squid AI and behaviors. The only actual difference which is quite obvious is that it glows. Now while it doesn't glow that much like it doesn't make the whole room blue for example it does stand out when it's in the dark. It's just that when it's in the light it doesn't really look special to be honest but that's fine because they actually spawn in complete darkness anyway. As you can see they spawn in the new caves as I said in complete darkness and they tend to spawn in groups and usually these groups are from two squids to maybe four. Now one thing that I forgot to talk about when I was talking about the axolotls is that they basically attack anything and because the axolotls also spawn in the caves they will attack the glow squids so if you're looking for glow squids to maybe get the glow ink sack you probably want to make sure that there's no axolotls around although now I think about it you probably want them around because it will just kill it for you and you still get the loot. Anyway as I said they drop glow ink sacks which are actually quite cool you can use them on signs to make the text glow as well as item frames which I'm sure you've already seen before and you probably think they're quite underwhelming which I think the same honestly but I guess it's still cool and also something that you should probably bear in mind is that because they have the same AI as squids they are quite annoying to kill because when you hit it it basically becomes a SpaceX rocket so yeah you should probably bear that in mind. Okay so now that we've talked about the axolotl, the goat and the glow squid I want to talk about one more mob and that is the warden and again I'm going to clear this up the new warden isn't in 1.17 meaning it's not out as of recording this video but it is still part of the caves and cliffs update so that's why I want to talk about it. So if you're wondering when it's going to come out it's going to come out later this year I'm pretty sure around December with the new 1.18 update where most of the updates like the new generation of the caves and mountains will also be added and with this new generation update there will be a new biome in the cave called the deep dark cave and that is where the warden will spawn. Basically it's the lowest part of a cave so don't worry you're not going to be accidentally stumbling across the warden. If you want to find it you're going to have to look for it unless I guess you get unlucky and there's just a massive tunnel straight down which I doubt is going to happen. The warden is the first ever blind mob that was added to Minecraft and because it is blind it solely relies on echolocation meaning it relies on sound so if it hears something or senses anything moving it will go to it. So let's just say you're walking somewhere, the warden will hear that and walk to you. Obviously assuming that it's in the range of the warden. So as I said it's triggered by things like walking but it also includes things like snowballs and arrows which is very useful because if you want to distract it so that it doesn't come for you you can just throw a snowball or shoot an arrow at the wall behind it and it will go towards it. Also a way to avoid it hearing you is by simply shifting as it doesn't hear any players that are shifting. Also using things like carpet or wool will absorb all the sound so the warden doesn't hear it. But what happens when it actually hears something? Well it will growl and glow which is honestly quite scary and when it knows that it's a player it will lock onto you even if you're throwing snowballs everywhere it will just come for you solely as obviously knows it's a player so if you're trying to avoid it I would recommend shifting but let's just say it is after you you should probably know a few things number one it is very very strong even if you're in full netherite armor it will still be able to two shot you which is insane I mean just look at this clip Also, it doesn't take any knockback, so you can't like keep knocking it away and just rely on timing. You actually have to maneuver around it. And also, the warden is 3.5 blocks tall, making him one of the tallest mobs in the game. Also, something that I want to say is that if you somehow manage to lure him out of the cave, then it does in fact burn in daylight. So I guess that's a strat to kill him, although it's probably just easier to kill him with a sword. With that being said, that's about it for today's video. If you enjoyed then subscribe, also follow my Twitch and I will see you guys in the next video.